Hi, I'm Julie Sear and I'm with Precision Media Solutions and this is part two of our setup and operation video of the sound system. So we'll just get right into it. We're going to open the door and um, pull out the manual. I'm going to pull everything out of your drawer. Headsets, uh, iPod stand, hardware bag. I'm going to leave the backup receiver in the drawer. You're going to want to put it in like a closet somewhere and keep it. It's probably going to take years until you need it, but um, it's in case the receiver burns out. I'll give you two iPod remotes. You're going to take one here and keep the other one in the drawer as a backup. And uh, let's start here with the iPod and get your music set up. Take out the stand and stretch it. Take your iPod. You're going to take the audio cable, put it up and through that hole. Plug your iPod into it. And then just set it right there on the stand, just like that. And go ahead and take your Bluetooth remote out of the box. Actually, you're going to want the manual which is inside the box as well. And we're going to start with the Bluetooth pairing. What this manual is going to tell you to do is go to your settings. Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is turned on. You're going to turn on the remote, pull down the bottom, and then you're going to wait for it to recognize the device. Sorry, hit the Wi-Fi button. That helps a lot. You get to hit the Wi-Fi button, then it can recognize the device. You see here, Bluetooth media control and camera. I'm gonna click on it, and then it's gonna tell me a code. The code is 6899. I'm gonna type it in here, 6899, enter. And there we are, we're connected. And that's it for the remote. So um, next thing is your dial settings. We have to make sure that your settings on your dials are right or your music is not gonna sound good. Let's go ahead and turn the amplifier, mixer, receiver on. You're gonna pull your antennas out, away from the stereo, away from each other in a V. That's gonna give you perfect reception. Up here on your amplifier, you're gonna see that the mode setting is preset to crown stereo. Don't ever touch these three buttons on the bottom. You do not wanna change the mode setting. Each one of these dials is each one of your speakers. Um, put them at three o'clock, as you can see here. Do not go beyond three o'clock. It will give you feedback. Down here on your mixer, you can see that this dial right here is marked mic. This is your mic volume. You can start off at one o'clock. If you're increasing the sound in your songs, you're gonna increase this dial manually um, so your mic can be heard above your songs. There's nothing hooked up to this dial. It's not gonna do anything if you turn it. Uh, treble, completely off to the left. Treble will give you feedback. Um, you don't want it. So <laughs> bass is at nine o'clock. You only want a little bit of bass. Your voice naturally has enough bass in it. Over here, there's nothing hooked up to this dial. It's completely off, and this is your iPod dial. You can see how I have it turned all the way up. And you're going to be using the Bluetooth remote to operate the volume, so turn this all the way up, and then use volume control with the remote. Treble, start off at 12 o'clock, um, maybe one o'clock if you want your music just a little more sharp. Bass put at 12 o'clock. Um, noise complaints can be a major issue with your neighbors. Just um, keep in mind that you want to keep your bass around 12 o'clock or, um, or maybe just a hair lower if you're having complaints. If you can see here, this is your receiver. There's an indentation on this dial that needs to be right at 12 o'clock, straight up. Anything beyond that is going to give you feedback, so keep it at 12 o'clock and it will be happy. So let's go ahead and start with um, testing your music. So I'm going to get out of this um, and go into music. I'm gonna take my remote and I'm gonna press play. Which is 
awesome. And then I'm gonna press stop. And then you're gonna see that you can shuffle through your songs by going uh, forward or back. And then you have volume control, which is up and down. So I'm gonna play the song. And turn the volume down. And then I can turn it back up again. And that is how you're going to operate your songs and arrange your music on your playlists. Next thing I want to go over um, is your mics. Get into your manual packet, pull out your Samson care sheet here, and follow it. Um, show it to all your instructors, make sure everybody sees this. And it's going to tell you to baby these mics. Use them for about three classes at a time. So AM mic, PM mic, let them rest at night, pull the foam pieces off. Um, it's all right here on the sheet along with the repair company's info. So um, go ahead and put that back on and we're going to get started by testing your mics. In the back here, you've got some extra windscreens, some batteries, uh, sweat protectors. These are very, very important to put on after you put the batteries in your mics. And you'll find the key to your drawer in here as well. So let's go ahead and start with putting some of your batteries in. Cover on. And then if you look right here, you're going to see that with a full battery, when you turn it on, it's gonna flash, just blink red once. And then you're gonna see that this RF meter over here is picking up your mic. I'm gonna turn it off and on. Let's see how that works. So if you have a good battery in and the receiver's picking up your mic, you're gonna see it on that meter. Next, you're gonna take your sweat protector, pop that on. your mic on your head and then you can test and see that the audio meter is picking up my voice. You're only going to see about one, maybe two if you're talking louder, um, dots on this meter. So let's go ahead and do music and mic together. Test, test, test. Okay, that sounds good. This right here is your master dial. Um, it's kind of a secret dial on the back of your sound system. Um, some people like to use it as a babysitter for their instructors that like to crank their music. And, um, and it also affects your feedback. So as you can see right here, I'm really conservative. I have it at about nine o'clock, three o'clock, depending on how you're looking at it. And you can turn it up as high as 11 o'clock to gain a little more volume if you feel like you don't have enough volume. Keep in mind anything over 11 o'clock is going to give you feedback. As a final part to the video, I just want to go over the manual packet. It's so important that you spend some time with this packet and really get to know your sound system. As you can see, my number and email is right there. It's kind of everywhere as you can see. You can't escape it. Get your manual here, read it as much as you can. <laughs> um, it's so helpful. My number again right there and email, always available. So here's the Samson care sheet, also very important. Make sure everybody sees this that works with you. And then I've got an FAQ sheet here. If you've got questions, I'm sure the answer will be right in this little packet. I'm going to go over to this side of the manual, and these are um, these are all the manuals. You've got your amplifier and mixer, and right there, your mic. So these are manufacturer manuals, anyway. And uh, you can get more familiar with your components over here of your stereo. And one last thing, if you are ever in need. As you can see, I've also got a sticker on your sound system, so call me if you need me. Enjoy your stereo.